welcome to the dumpster fire that is my life and our next installment of what in the fluff have my humans done now as you may already know it's been a rough week for us here in the home base of operations of shepherd controlled territory i have sent a shepherd cease and desist order in triplicate in especially large print in case my dad all of a sudden thinks he can read and would like to attempt it and we await their reply the humans that kidnapped me from my dog mom when I was a baby raptor are running around here like millionaires and I just have one question times a hundred? Just whose money is that? Aren't I the famous one and shouldn't they be more concerned about purchasing bully sticks, cheez-its and steak for us instead of hiring unknown assailants to do all sorts of stupid projects around here to things that don't even need repaired? I know because I'm the one that modified them just the way I like them? For instance did you know that by ripping a huge hole out of the center of your couch cushion you'll be able to store much more snacks and tennis balls? And doors. If your humans break one of the shepherd commandments thought shall never poo in private again that you can enact your excessive I mean executive shepherd powers and rip the door in two to make sure this infraction never takes place again? Which leads me to the reason for this video. Just this last Wednesday at approximately O Shepherd 100 we had a perimeter breach of epic proportion. A vehicle pulled up to our house with three guys my dad called boys and they didn't even play the knockdown game with me which obviously means they hate dogs and my parents wouldn't even let me give them the security sniff down? Which you all know is priority under the German Shepherd Handbook Chapter 8 under GSD security protocols. They asked my caveman of a father where it was and he told them around to the back of the house which means they could only be talking about my stick of joy. I only assumed my parents had come to their senses and hired someone to throw my SOJ 137 times every 52 seconds but they were terrible at it. In fact after hitting them in the no-nose with it 14 times they didn't even throw it once. However they did start breaking the back door to the home base of operations and I'm pretty sure they were stealing it. That's right the entire door? I had just broken that thing in nicely too so we could let ourselves out for a walk to mind the neighborhood's business whenever we please? When the house gets too warm in the winter I would open the double doors and let the snow in which I'm a certain a centipede at costume party my parents appreciated. We tried stopping them by setting traps in the yard but our poo mines didn't work. And after my polar bear puppy Leo the Cheeto introduced one of them to the Leo lift out came the baby gate of shame? It was worth it though because Leo initiated his lift from behind and the guy thought my dad had grabbed his hiney? I can't make this stuff up but at least the perp didn't drop the new door? After it was all said and done I have a cool story to share and my dad made a new friend? LOL. The moral of the story is that when a broken door gets stolen a new door can be installed to be broken? Guys let's break this thing in? It won't be long until snow flies and we need to be able to bring a winter wonderland inside? What a waste of my money Sasha Leo Penny and Sadie out.